Okay, folks, buckle up tight because Emonique is unleashing some major bombshells. This is where reality hits hard, shattering the illusion of Hollywood's shimmer and shine. Emonique is pulling no punches, revealing the truth about her industry peers. We're talking big names like Tyler Perry, T, D, Jakes, Diddy, and the iconic Oprah Winfrey. Things are heating up, to say the least. Here's the lowdown, Diddy's clandestine gatherings, his dubious dealings with Pastor T, D, Jakes, and those allegations of misconduct against women have been the talk of the town. But now, Emonique is turning a new page, delving deep into how Tyler Perry and T. D. Jakes might actually overshadow Diddy in notoriety. She's laying bare her experience of being. Sidelined by Tyler Perry and Oprah, revealing how Perry manipulated and exploited young black men in Hollywood. And the icing on this controversial cake? The so-called million-dollar donation from Tyler Perry to T. D. Jakes aimed at keeping the lid on their secrets. Brace yourselves, this revelation is going to be a doozy. We're venturing into some serious territory here. Tyler Perry and T.D. Jakes, once viewed as pillars of inspiration, are now under Emonique's critical lens. She's hinting at some seriously shady undercurrents, suggesting the public personas of these figures only scratch the surface. And Diddy? He's part of this intricate web, too. His story isn't just about the empire of music he built, there's a darker side lurking beneath. And Monique is painting a Hollywood picture that's more complex and shadowy than just showbiz glamour. She's casting a spotlight on these industry titans, hinting that their off-camera lives might not be as flawless as they appear. Now, let's dive into Monique's confrontation with industry heavyweights Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey. It all kicked off with the Precious Awards campaign debacle. Emonique's refusal to promote the film at Ken Without Compensation was more than a simple disagreement, it was a stand. She had her reasons balancing a talk show, a comedy tour, and precious family time. Her words to Oprah, I've done my part, marked the beginning of a significant rift. Flashback to 2015, Emonique publicly calls out the power trio Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey for blackballing her. Lee Daniels retorted, suggesting that Emonique's expectations for Precious were misaligned with the film's campaign, thereby damaging her standing in Hollywood. But Emonique didn't hold back, revealing more during her Apollo appearance. I wasn't black-balled, I was white-balled by those without the courage to stand up, she declared. Thank you, Lee Daniels and Oprah. When you don't pay me what I deserve, you're not treating me right, so y'all can just go ahead. She retorted, in 2009, Emonique made a choice to skip the Precious Press Tour as the compensation didn't align with her needs for a break. It seemed like a fair choice, right? But suddenly, she found herself tagged as difficult. Fast forward, and the media narratives painted her as a disruptor, even with an Oscar to her name. Emonique sensed foul play, and Lee Daniels eventually let slip the truth about her being sidelined for not playing by Hollywood's unwritten rules. Now, she's standing by for an apology that's long overdue from Oprah and Tyler Perry. But here's a twist. Oprah reneged on her promise, bringing Emonique's brother onto her show without Emonique's consent, ripping open past traumas. With no apology forthcoming from Oprah, Emonique's patience wears thin. Then, at her Academy Award triumph, Emonique conspicuously left out director Lee Daniels in her gratitude, instead thanking the Academy for valuing performance over politics. This move ignited a 13-year-long feud with Daniels, culminating in her exclusion from Hollywood circles. Daniels envisioned roles for her in his future projects, eventually casting Oprah and Taraji P. Henson instead. Reconciliation with Oprah or Perry remains elusive, with lingering bitterness towards Oprah for exploiting her family's painful history on her talk show. Despite these trials, Emonique values the support from others in the industry, like Donald Glover, who cast her in 2019, and Roseanne Barr, whom she supported during a 2018 controversy. Emonique's credo, stand for what's right, all day, every day. So, that's the essence of Emonique's tumultuous journey in Hollywood. A constant roller coaster, but what's reigniting these issues now? She's chosen to confront the entire saga head-on, and the situation looks dire for those involved. Recently, a revealing video expose where Emonique delves into the murky depths of the industry has gone viral. 
We all knew the narratives around Diddy were bad, but according to Monique, Tyler Perry and T. D. Jakes might be harboring even darker secrets. Monique unveiled these startling revelations during her candid discussion on Turns Out with T.S. Madison, where she's been vocal about her industry blackballing. Ostracized by the likes of Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, merely for declining the Precious Awards campaign. And Monique's not holding back as she delves into Perry's duplicity. You're asking how I feel about not hearing from him? I've experienced the whiz, and that's the root of my fervor, she asserts. Gratitude flows for her husband's presence, a calming force in her fiery passion. And Monique's intent isn't to slander her industry family, but betrayal cuts deep. It's a different ball game when you're being duped, she confides. A decade of drama later, Tyler Perry reaches out, a gesture of reconciliation. And Monique candidly shares, Perry owned up to his mistakes, even vowing a public apology. And here's a twist, and Monique taped their conversation, verified by T.S. Madison. She didn't stop there. Kevin Hart and Reverend Al Sharpton listened to the recording. Sharpton, in a surprising move, urged Perry to reconnect with Monique. But Perry's conditions emerged, her husband manager must be absent, and Monique must extend apologies to him and Oprah. How's that for a turn of events? Monique questions, disbelief evident, I hear his admission, yet now I'm the one who must apologize, and without my husband? Monique's gaze pierces the lens, ready to unveil the harsh truth of Hollywood's treatment of outspoken black women. She articulates a painful history of being overlooked and disregarded. Often, the voice of a black woman advocating for herself goes unheard, acknowledged only in her absence, she reflects. And Monique honors trailblazers like Eartha Kitt, Hazel Scott, Fannie Lou Hamer, and Hattie McDaniel, who stood up against injustice, yet were met with heartbreak and silence from their community. The Monique Perry conflict traces back to her refusal to promote Precious, a decision beyond her contractual obligation. Despite her Oscar win for the role, Monique wasn't prepared to forfeit family time for endless promotions. She clarified, I wasn't going to let Hollywood dictate my priorities. Initially, Perry and M. Monique seemed to reach a mutual understanding. But when M. Monique defied the unwritten rules of Hollywood's game, she was abruptly branded as difficult. The aftermath saw Perry engaging in disparaging conversations with director David E. Talbert, while Oprah remained conspicuously silent. Despite the turmoil, and Monique emphasizes her love for Perry, Oprah, and Lee, make no mistake, we hold no animosity towards them. They are our kin, she declares. Her husband's wisdom resonates as she shares, we're not calling them out, we're inviting them to elevate our community together. Striving for integrity, not merely hiding in the shadows of perceived power. That's the epitome of taking the noble path through Hollywood's tempest. Yet, the saga with Perry is far from over. The buzz is that Monique is poised to reveal all. With her depth of industry insight, who knows the secret she's holding? The conversation among fans is growing. Murmurs about Perry's actions are being swept under the carpet. An online comment reads, What about Tyler Perry's allegations? He's a godfather to royal children, yet it's all hush-hush. Shouldn't we be talking more about this? Another chimes in, thinking Oprah and Perry aren't part of some nefarious circle. Wake up, people. Monique and Taraji aren't spinning tales. There's more to Oprah and Tyler than meets the eye. Tyler Perry, a household name, rose to fame from Atlantis theater scene to his Medea series triumph. Yet, whispers suggest his climb to stardom wasn't without controversy, hinting at ego clashes, even with Oprah. Hollywood's landscape often demands dubious maneuvers, and Perry is no stranger to this game. His venture into television with House of Pain was a hit, but not without its backstage dramas. When it came time for Meet the Browns, Perry faced a significant challenge. Deadline revealed Perry showed the exit to four writers demanding fair contracts, sparking a heated industry debate. Tyler's quest for new writers underlined his belief in their replaceability. The Writers Guild of America took a firm stance, accusing Perry of stonewalling negotiations. Adding to the drama, Perry likened himself to Martin Luther King Jr. in the midst of this dispute. Ultimately, Perry conceded, settling with the union and agreeing to fair residuals, all the while invoking the spirit of MLK in his resolution. Then there's the tale of Brandon J., an actor who auditioned for a role in one of Perry's series. 
Jay was in for a shock when Perry, in a last-minute decision, changed the character's orientation, demanding a rapid adaptation to new lines. This instance highlighted the unpredictability actors face under Perry's direction, marking his impulsive script changes and the pressures to conform to his sudden whims. In a striking turn, Monique intervenes. Perry's for Colored Girls sparked controversy mere days before its release due to Perry's casting preferences for lighter-skinned actresses. Monique, unflinching, condemned this, calling it sad and disheartening, a reflection of a long-standing, deep-rooted issue. Perry, unfazed, shrugged off the criticism, stating his penchant for crossing boundaries. With Perry's sprawling empire in the backdrop, and Monique might just be gearing up to unveil more than just surface-level details we're talking casting secrets to Perry's ties with other Hollywood elites. She's already blown the lid off her experiences with Oprah and Tyler, accusing them of orchestrating her industry ostracization. The question now is, what else does she know about Perry? But it's not just Perry in the crosshairs. And Monique's readiness to expose other Hollywood moguls is palpable. Remember her explosive words at the Apollo Theater about Oprah and Lee Daniels? Perry might just be the beginning. If Monique's armed with the truth, Hollywood might be bracing for a seismic revelation. There's a divide in perception, with some seeing her as merely a spotlight seeker, while others firmly believe she's on the verge of exposing major Hollywood scandals. And Monique has the industry's undivided attention, and Tyler Perry, especially, may be feeling the heat. This situation is more than just current gossip. It could signify the start of a significant unraveling in Hollywood. If Monique's disclosures are as impactful as suggested, they could potentially open a Pandora's box of industry secrets and power dynamics. The extent of this unfolding drama's impact remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, Monique's revelations could trigger a profound shift in Hollywood's landscape. The unfolding narrative around T.D. Jakes and Tyler Perry seems almost preordained, as if Monique is merely a conduit for a larger cosmic reckoning. The digital grapevine is abuzz with unsettling claims about Bishop T.D. Jakes, painting a picture far removed from his esteemed public persona. Allegations have surfaced, positioning Jakes at the center of scandalous parties hosted by Diddy, where it suggested that influential figures engaged inappropriately with young men and boys. A viral TikTok video throws further fuel on this fire, with direct accusations against Jakes. Online commentators are connecting the dots, with voices emerging one after another, implicating DJ Envy, Diddy, Tyler Perry, and now TD Jakes. A particularly ominous prophecy from the Master's Voice Prophecy blog on YouTube casts Jakes in a shadowy light, alleging his ties to Freemasonry and a satanic cult. The accuser paints the chilling picture of Jakes using his spiritual influence to mislead his followers into darker realms. These accusations, if proven true, could deal a devastating blow to Jakes's reputation and personal life. A concerned individual reflected on one of Jakes's sermons, interpreting his demeanor as an admission of guilt and questioning the spiritual integrity of allowing Tyler Perry to perform a laying on of hands ceremony. In the midst of this maelstrom, Monique's decision to call out Oprah Winfrey adds another layer to the unfolding drama. Oprah's stature as a media titan and industry influencer is well documented, and Monique's assertion that Oprah played a part in her perceived mistreatment adds a provocative twist to the narrative. Oprah's influence in Hollywood is not just limited to her on-screen presence, she is a formidable force behind the scenes, capable of shaping careers with a mere nod or a withheld gesture of support. Monique's allegations align with broader suspicions about Oprah's sway over Hollywood's inner workings, from casting decisions to the allocation of limelight at prestigious award shows. However, these remain allegations, and the complexities of power dynamics in Hollywood are intricate and often shrouded in mystery. Monique is sharing her perspective, stirring a sea of controversy, and the responses from those accused remain to be seen. Hollywood's history is fraught with power struggles and disputes, and Monique's claims highlight the need for transparency and equity in the industry's decision-making. As the saga unfolds, we anticipate more voices emerging, sharing their experiences and offering new perspectives on the power plays at work in showbiz. The severity of Monique's claims against Perry, particularly when juxtaposed with Diddy's already tarnished history, suggests an even darker reality. This isn't just Monique's battle, others close to these artists, like Jean Deal, are speaking out. 
Jean's recounting of the party scene and his astonishment at Jake's presence there paints a picture of moral incongruity. His reflections on the evolution of rap culture and Jake's personal challenges, including revelations about his sons, add further complexity to the narrative. Jean's musings on the nature of Didi's relationships, particularly with Cassie, provide a glimpse into the convoluted personal lives of these public figures.